Scorpio, hi. So this is going to be a reading for September 20th through the 26th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Uh, let's see. Felix, you're not as small as your brother. I don't even know what you're doing there. Oh, you're moving my camera. That's what you're doing there. Okay. He tried. Let's see. Okay, the overall energy for the reading, the world card. You're going through some endings of a cycle, particularly one cycle, but I feel like it's more endings than one, but that kind of revolved revolve around that one particular situation. But let's see. In the recent past, you get the Fool, the Two of Pentacles, the High Priestess. Okay. Being pulled in a situation, I feel like you were feeling the pull towards a situation. Now, the confusing part is here for you that shows up. Um, is that my intuition or why am I being called in this direction? You know, because I feel like there's a little bit of confusion around whether or not that was your intuition telling you go in this direction or was it something else? Was it desire? Was it your mind? Was it what, what was it? You know, um, in the current situation, you got the Four of Swords, the King of Pentacles, the Lovers, healing, lots of healing. I feel like there is here, it, it kind of looks like you're healing through a very significant connection to you. Now, that doesn't mean, oh, I'm with this person and we, we live in this place of happily ever after kind of energy that feels like it's never going to go. Of course, it could be that, but it feels more like this connection, whatever it does, whatever it did, and whatever it still does, it's creating the space for you to heal at a deep level here because the connection feels deep. Um, yeah. In the immediate future, you get the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Wands, the Knight of Wands. There's a sense of defeat here. There's a sense of loss. And there's a sense of uh, coming back to this energy over and over again. Whatever that means. It could mean that um, things look good for a while in the situation and then they look like, oh my God, I've lost it, but let's get back to it. Maybe we can fix it or maybe we can, you know, there's this, um, almost like feeling drawn to this, but in a different way than you were in the past, feeling drawn from a perspective of passion. I'm very passionate about this, which to me doesn't really makes sense because what your passion is heading you towards is a sense of doom, a sense of defeat in this situation. So we'll see. We'll see. <clears throat> Let's clarify. Let's see what the hell is happening here. For the world card, you get the three of swords, the knight of swords, the hierophant, the same kind of cycle, repetitive cycle. That's what kind of looks like it's coming to an end on your side where you keep on heading back towards this because it feels very intense to you. You know, this connection feels like it's intense. It's something you can't go on without. It's something that, oh my God, nobody had this ever before. I'm going to keep on going towards it. But as you keep on going towards it, you also carry a lot of pain from it. So that's where the... Confusion sets in for me. Um, I can understand that aspect of feeling like this is it. This is it for me. There's no one else. There's nothing else. I got to make this work. And blah, blah, blah. But if it constantly brings in the energy of pain, that's where I'm, I'm kind of lost a little bit, you know. Um, let's do the full in the recent past. 
Ace of Cups, Six of Wands, Eight of Cups. Okay, so something that definitely felt right. It felt like this is it. This is love. I'm going in. Who the hell wouldn't do that? We're all guilty of that. But then it feels like you pulled yourself out of it emotionally, like you stopped feeling it. You know, not in the way that um, you felt it in the beginning, where it does feel like it was instinctively, it was feeling like this is it. it you know, I'll for sure, you had a calling towards this because it made you feel like, oh my God. But then you show up, pulled away from it emotionally. You know, like, okay, this is it. I'm not feeling it anymore. Um, let me see that high priestess there in the recent past. Same thing. Same same thing keeps on popping up. It's one of those readings there uh, that the same kind of energy is going to show up with different cards, basically. And that can happen a lot in a reading. And when I see that kind of reading, I'm like, shit. Um... Your intuition was telling you this is done. At some point, your intuition told you, we're, we're done here. Scorpio, what are you doing here? We're done. And you kept on going back. You kept on going back. You kept on going back. And it seems like you're going through this repetitive cycle within this situation. And it needs to end this cycle. It needs to come to an end. Because I feel like at some point it became very unhealthy and you keep on doing it. Um, <clears throat> let's do the Four of Swords in the current situation. Same, same kind of energy. Uh, the Emperor, the Five of Cups, the Fool. You're showing up as healing, as trying to move on, trying to heal, trying to learn from this experience. And then bam, you keep on going right back to it, right back to the beginning of it, where you felt this pull, you felt like, okay, okay, I need to go. Um, you're killing me here, Scorpio. Let's do the King of Pentacles. Because you do seem to spend time on healing and understanding and then taking that break for you. Enough break to be able to detach yourself from the cycle. And then you're right back in it. Mm -hmm. That's why. For the King of Pentacles, you get the Chariot, the Seven of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups. Because you're being pulled into it by this other person that shows up in that beautiful way that you've always wanted, right? So the minute you're out that door, they show up in the perfect kind of image that you've always envisioned that they would show up in. And then they're like, Scorpio, but look, you've changed. And it feels like it's so, because it doesn't last long. And then the real thing comes up and then the real energies come to the surface. And that's why you keep on moving away from it. They come right back in, they pull you right back in. And they're not doing it from a, you know, bad place necessarily. They're doing it from a place that they have to heal as well. You know, um... Because you two are creating this vicious cycle between the two of you. Let's do the lovers in the current situation. Six of Pentacles, Four of Cups, the Tower. Yeah. Same freaking energy. I hate it when this happens because I'm like, I think we got it. You know, like, I think Scorpio's got it. I think I got it. I think their person's got it. Things are looking right until things don't look so right anymore. Something happens that shifts this whole energy around. Like things are good, things are stable. Look at us being good. And then, oh shit, it's not working out. We hate one another. We don't want to see one another. I want to go in that direction. They want to go in that direction. And then one of you kind of comes back around and pulls the other person right back into this. And then repeat, repeat, repeat. Who's going to break the cycle, Scorpio? Is it you or them or the both of you? Somebody has to break the cycle. Let's 
to the Ten of Swords. Nine of Cups, the Star, the Six of Cups. Huh. Interesting, because now missed opportunities show up. This is a very different energy. Because you've been in the cycle for so long, there may have been opportunities that you could have taken while you were at this. And now there's a sense of a missed opportunity that you're hanging on to like, oh shit, you know, I've been so busy with this, which is not bringing me much, you know, of nothing new, that I might've missed something. A missed opportunity is shown up here. Which you know, it's never missed. If it's meant for you, it'll come back. Ah, let's do the Nine of Wands. In the immediate future, the Two of Wands, the Temperance card, the Page of Swords. Okay, so you're opening up to the possibility of moving on again, of not missing that opportunity if it comes back around or if there's a new opportunity coming here. There's a lot of resistance towards doing that, but you're still doing it towards opening up. And it's going to take some time. Um... But this seems like a very small key to breaking this cycle. This here, this openness towards let's move on. Very small, very small because if that resistance wasn't there, I would have been like, it's a kind of medium kind of size key. It's a very small key for now. For the Knight of Wands, you get the Three of Pentacles, the King of Wands, the Five of Pentacles. See, because you keep coming back at this. And even when things feel right, even when things feel like, oh my God, it's working. There's still that sense of a split here, of a something's missing, something's lacking. Even though we're perfectly fine for five minutes, something's missing here. And what's missing is the fact that this energy here has been broken and you're continuing a cycle that keeps on breaking it over and over again. And if somebody doesn't break the cycle, doesn't get out of this energy, we're going to keep on repeating. History repeating, right? Where things work out and then it's broken and then things work out and then it's broken again. Let's do the um, universe. Knight of Swords, the Moon, the Five of Wands. There's some, there are some unaddressed issues and that's what keeps a cycle going, basically. Truths, pains, um, you being hurt, them being hurt, neither of you kind of getting to the bottom of what created that pain and just putting it out there, you know, for them to look at, for you to look at, if it's your pain. And then work with that energy, that'll change the whole dynamic within the cycle. But you keep on going back um, and not really addressing what hurt you. Them not really addressing, like pretending like, mm, no, we're fine. Look at us. Look at us. We're working. It's perfect. Let's not mention anything that can ruin this. And then in the, in the end, it does get ruined because the energy is there. You know, even if you don't talk about it, the energy of it is there. And that's what's creating the ending of it all. And then the beginning and then the ending again. And then so that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.